here, not too far from the center, as I showed you earlier, with the uh, center with the fountain. There's uh, another, per actually this one's more of a pergola than the other one. But, because uh, yeah, pergola is just different styles. There's a pergola over there in the front, as I showed you earlier, to the uh, fountain. But I'm actually coming up here to uh, an entertainment area. Well, not an entertainment area, but basically another court. Um, it's only one basketball net and two soccer, smaller soccer for kids probably. Because this is the area with the pool that has a lot of kids, so. Um, that's our net for soccer. One over there. Basketball net. And obviously these kids are playing basketball. Which I won't show you too much of it. Because I don't need to show you too much about that. Like I said, I'll just kind of give you a scan. Those kids are playing basketball. And the pool way over there. Now, I wanted to show you this. Now, if you have a bunch of kids, or say one kid at least, there's a little kid pool there. Literally, it looks like it's only maybe six inches deep water. Uh, swing set, play, play area in the back over there. Obviously, some uh, shade if the kid gets warm. Uh, another little up and down sidewalk side. Now this is what they call, let me actually try to show you here. Let me quickly show you the sign. Make it fast here. I don't need to show you forever. You can see, I haven't seen many people going in here. Memories Fun Club for kids. So if you have kids, great to come here for the kids. Oh, look at that. Seesaws for fun. I used to like playing on those when I was a kid myself. Before I show you the pool fully, I mean, you can kind of see the pool. You can see that building right there, that whole building, which is right across the whole pool. That is the, that is the, um, one of the snack bars that you can have uh, very basic foods. And here's the pool. Let me wall it. Might as well show you the pool. But, yeah, I had uh, fish, fried fish. Very lightly battered with uh, um, a little bit of salad, which is basically kind of a combination of they either just give you cabbage, or I had cabbage. On the second one, I got cabbage with a small little piece of uh, tomato, and I believe it was onion as well. It kind of varies from time to time, but it's, it's a good place to eat, but it's like, I know you probably can't hear me that well, but I'm going to kind of, hopefully you can hear me. You see that the guy over there is talking to them in Spanish. A lot of Spanish people here. Actually, let me go over here while I'm at it. So here's your little shower that you can shower off if you have sand on you or whatever. This one actually works. That's cool. I still have yet to go on that even though I probably won't be. But that is awesome. Like basically a slide. It goes like all the way just over there. It's not huge, but it's big. It's the biggest one of the resort. And actually, way back there on the far end is a smaller little pool, just a waiting pool. Now, one thing I noticed just now, I didn't notice this the other day, but I didn't even really notice. I didn't pay attention to this little inlet where this couple is. But one thing I didn't notice was this. There and there, walk-up bar or swim-up bar. So it's a swim-up bar as well. I didn't know that. Got a pretty busy uh, deck here. Lots of people today enjoying the sun. Oh, let me go around the slide. But yeah, there's tons of space. Seats go fast, so get your butt over here if you're over here. Get your butt here quick, or 
Good luck in finding a way to look at these people here. Again, this is the other side of the snack bar to have your snack, like snack foods. So, just one more quick scan. Maybe a quick scan around the back. And again, lots of height on this swimming, should I say, on this uh, single slide. Really 